Gabriela DeCampo with the Towson Sports Network at Sherholtz Park, where the Towson baseball team beat the UNCW Seahawks in the final game of this weekend series, 10-6. The 0-2 pitch. It's going to be a swinging, swinging grounder in between first and second base. It's going to be a single to drive in Linkus. UNCW quickly ahead on the Tigers, one to nothing after the RBI single by Zach Shields. The 2-2 pitch. And it's going to be a swinging strike three on Mims. Good job there by Lawler. That is going to take us to the bottom of the first inning. Towson currently trailing one to nothing. Phillips with the pitch. And that's going to be popped up to center field. That's going to send Golden back. He's running for it, but he's able to not get under the ball. He drops it in center. That's going to bring two men in. It's going to bring three men in. A bases clearing error by Casey Golden is going to send Colin Dyer to second base. That's going to put Towson on the board. They are now ahead three to one after the error out in center field by Casey Golden. Obviously not what the Seahawks wanted to see looking back and fires. And it's going to be hit into left field. That's going to be line. And that is not going to be able to be played by Linkus. That's going to send two runners in, three runners in. That's going to be another bases clearing hit by Dyer. That's going to plate three more for the Tigers, now leading 7-2. to two. While they're looking again at the 3-2 pitch. That's going to be swung on and driven into left field. That's going to be a base hit for Golden. Golden will take off towards second. And he's going to be in there sliding safely. Gallo, a great throw in, but could not get there in time. That's going to be a leadoff double for Golden, who should have been called out. As he takes off again, the ball is going to be hit into left field. Diving is Linkus, but he could not get there. That's going to send Henzi to third. Henzi being held up, and with a double is Bowles. Linkus, an amazing dive, but could not get to the ball. It went past him, and Golden had to get to the ball and throw it in. It's going to be a stand-up double. Infield still playing in, waiting for the bunt. Here's the pitch. And it's swung on and hit up the third base line, and that's going to be a fair ball. That's going to score two. Gimblet's going to go to second, standing up. Excuse me, he slid, but that's going to score two. A big base hit up the third base line for Colin Gimblet. That's going to be two RBIs. It'll score Henze and Bowles. The pitch is swung on and popped into left field. Back it goes, and not making the catch is going to be Grunberg. That is going to be over the fence, just past. That is going to be a three-run dinger for Dunlap, exactly what the Seahawks needed. And that is going to be a big hit, cutting three runs into this Tiger lead. Now Tigers up four, currently leading 10 to six, no outs. Bases are now empty after the big blast by Dunlap. That is his second home run on the season. Kolcheski again with 2-2. And that's how the game is going to end. A swinging strike three by Linkus. The Tigers are victorious by a score of 10-6. These two games we lost in extra innings, and it's been hard to win games this season. So uh, it's been good to get the first conference win, and hopefully we can start winning and start a streak up. We got key hits. Yesterday, we had a bunch of opportunities with two outs, men in scoring position, and we never got a key hit. Today, you know, Dyer hits a double with the bases loaded. We were fortunate they made an error with the bases loaded, and so that combination is six runs right there. Uh, and so that gives, you, that gives you a chance. That was probably the best game of Lee's uh, career here. Uh, he had a good command of his uh, breaking ball, which was uh, a strikeout pitch for him. And he threw a high percentage of strikes, and that was the difference. I mean, we've just finished playing in conference probably the best two teams. And the record doesn't show it, but we were competitive. Uh, with a little luck, we'd have won this whole series, all three games. But we didn't do what it took to do that. Close isn't good enough. So if we can play today, next weekend like we played today, we have a chance to be in good shape. Starting pitcher Lee Lawler went seven plus innings and had eight strikeouts. The next game for the Tigers is here at Sherholds Park this Tuesday against the University of Maryland Eastern Shore. First pitch is at 3.30. Be sure to catch all the action on TowsonTigers.com. 
With the Towson Sports Network, I'm Gabriella DiCampo.